Hi, I'm Dr. Sally Foote, and this is my friend Leo, and we're going to show you how to lure a dog who's reluctant to get in the car to get in the car. First thing is, every day have him earn his breakfast. I've got a handful of his food, and it's actually kind of mixed a little bit with some Cheerios here. Here, Leo. But we're going to have him eat some of the food just like that, just right with his head going into the car. And I'm actually going to throw some down on the floor see if he'll want to go in there. Now he's not really wanting to go in there, so I have to increase the value of the food. So we have some of these treats here. What we're going to do is have him want to work to get onto the seat. Okay. Now he's still not choosing to eat it. When he's not eating it, it's his way of saying, I'm not still so sure about this. It's still making me a little bit nervous. That's where we now are going to add in some help. This is the Adaptal Spray, the Mother Dog Calming Pheromone. So you can, it needs to be absorbed through the roof of the mouth, so you need to put it on something like a bandana. And when you do, you need to spray about five good sprays on there. And we're gonna put this underneath his chin. Now normally I would wait about 10 minutes before, you know, giving this time to absorb. While I'm talking, it's gonna be doing some work. Now the second thing you also wanna do is also spray the seat back here in the car so we get a lot of concentration of it so when he goes in he's going to continue to inhale it so here we go leo let's see if we can get leo to take the little treat now oh good you want to come in here okay now he's not totally absorbed the adaptal he's still not really he's like eh, i don't really want to do it but let's say i've got to get him in the car either we have a trip to go to your annual veterinary appointment and right now it's taking about six to eight weeks to reschedule uh, maybe he's sick maybe he doesn't feel good that's also why he doesn't want to eat so how do I get him in the car without forcing him in because if we force him in it's actually going to increase his anxiety so what we can do is this I am going I'm, I'm going to assume I'm by myself I don't have another friend here so I'm going to take this leash and I'm going to hook it around the headrest so he doesn't take off and I'm going to come around the other side and open the door. So now he's going to want to come to me. I'm on the other side. I'm going to untie the leash. Hey, buddy. There you go. And as he comes in, now he wants to come in. Now I'm going to hold him back. Good boy. And I'm going to give him a jackpot of food to have right there. Closing this door. Coming around and closing this door. So he chose to jump in the car and he chose because I opened the other side and he saw it as a way of like, ooh, getting through the car and escaping. Yes, I closed the car door down, but we'll look inside here if you want to focus. <laughs> he was a minute ago eating the food in the backseat of the car. By giving him this time to eat that food in the backseat of the car, it rewards him for having gotten in the car. And this is some of the first steps of counter conditioning the dog to liking getting in the car. Many of our dogs are really nervous about riding in the car. It all starts just from trying to get in the car. They don't want to get in the car. We're shoving them in the car and it's really stressful for them. So this is a way of rewarding him as he gets in the car. And then if we have to get him in, a way to encourage him to want to get in and still having reward after. Now, if this is a training session, this is as far as I'm gonna go. Because if I go into the car and I start the car up, I'm adding more triggers to him for being anxious. So if I'm, I'm going to work on this training with him, here we go. I am going to say, here we go. We're going to get some more treats and just have him eat the treats like this. So he wants to stick his head in the car. He's doing the first steps of wanting to get his body into the car. This is how he's going to earn his meal every day for a train. Look at there. See, now he's starting to learn to go in the car. And uh, by doing this every day, and he earns his dinner this way, this is how within about two or three days, we can have this 85 pound big breed dog choosing to get right up in the car himself. Yeah, you're not quite here yet, but you will get there. There you go. So follow these tips and uh, thank you. Look at Leo. Yeah, we've made this a game. Leo's loading right in. So within one or two times of just throwing food, little, 
little Leo. Leo has now gone from a dog who wouldn't put his paws in and wouldn't eat to actually taking the rewards. Now, it's been probably five minutes since I put that Adaptal bandana on him. He is getting benefit from the Adaptal, and that's what's so important is to put the bandana with the Adaptal and a lot of it sprayed on there so that it's rising up to the roof of his mouth to be absorbed and go to the calming center. Also, remember I sprayed the inside of the car. So when he lands into the inside of the car, he's also getting more of that, you know, in his system and it helps. So Leo now has really advanced and learned a lot in a matter of just five minutes. Thank you.